we are in live good morning yeah, yeah, dear can... participants good morning dear participants again a happy morning uh it was unfortunate uh, that yesterday we had some technical problem i like to share some information about uh, our uh, resource trainer today uh, as you know mr abdul latif sir he is speaking from a state called kerala that state is uh, you know it is a, a big uh, rainy season now actually and there is a big monsoon took place it is in the uh, seashore of uh, uh, arabian sea actually so that is the reason yesterday there were some problems uh, in the networking and today uh, hopefully uh, abdul latif sir uh, came out with the different solutions so there won't be any interaction we are hopefully today and uh, today our abdul latif sir uh, planned to extend his session for about half an hour to 40 minutes because he want to uh, 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 start from where he left yesterday and with that he will be coming out with the digital transformation in the entrepreneurship era with this i am handing over uh, the session uh, to dear abdul latif sir now the session is yours sir sir you can unmute your uh, mic sir mr ah uh, now it is okay sir okay so my screen is okay rajkumar yeah it is okay sir okay you can proceed ah uh, good morning okay good morning students sorry for the trouble which is uh, which has been uh, there yesterday i am really apologetic for the problem which has caused actually there was some technical issue due to rainy season and uh, intermittent current connection which is happening which is uh, which occurred due to the to the rainy season and i am really apologetic for the trouble which has caused you students yesterday i hope that uh, today we will be having extending our session up to 3 uh, hours 2 and a half to 3 hours so i will be starting from where i have uh, stopped yesterday uh we have uh, been discussing yesterday about uh, entrepreneurship opportunities so i will be starting from uh, the place where i stopped it's called uh, five fold business opportunities in africa so we said yesterday that africa's real gdp which uh, grew at around annual rate of 5.4% in 2000 to 2010 uh which has been um, reduced uh, in the in the last quarter from 2010 to 2020 due to some technical issues due to some issues which occurred like arab spring for the sub saharan area and the collapse of oil prices in um, in nigerian belt and all so we are looking for we were looking for a poised growth in african region according to world bank world bank our uh, estimate for uh, the world's top 10 fastest growing economy in the world six were in africa with ghana at the top ranking and uh, secondly in the world's 2019 doing of business index five of the 10 most improved countries for world trans world banks index of doing business was in africa so yesterday we said something about uh, due to the intermittent kind of net connection and current problem we couldn't explain it yesterday the thought early stage entrepreneurial activity top 10 countries with highest percentage of adults who are either starting a business or have it to run for less than 3.5 years the first country is there is nigeria and zambia and the third country is malawi in this list we can find that out of the 10 countries which is listed here by american think tank institute called brookings institute we can find that total early stage entrepreneurial activity the top 10 countries in the total globe with highest percentage of adults who are either starting a business or choosing business as a career option fortunately 
one of the country where i am speaking today is zambia and the second country which i am speaking today is malawi so 39.9 percentage of the total population think of entrepreneurship in zambia as a career option in the beginning of their career journey and 28.1 percentage of the people in malawi think of entrepreneurship as a starting point but we should think a very big important point here that the percentage of population's demographic divide maximum people who think of entrepreneurship as a career option in african countries like nigeria zambia ghana and so forth and so forth are women women are more especially thinking of entrepreneurship as a career option due to the demographic psychographic and the sociological issues which happens in these countries so the global female entrepreneurship percentage of female adults who are either a nascent entrepreneur or an owner manager of a new business we can find that 40.7% of the population total population of nigeria and zambia and the country which i am speaking today malawi 27.3% of total female a uh, global female index we can say that this uh, 40.7 in zambia and 27.9 people in uh, women population in malawi uh, are thinking of entrepreneurship as a career option and uh, the best country in africa regarding getting off the ground for starting and initiating an entrepreneurship journey is uganda 36.1% whereas our the country which we are speaking today zambia is around 16.6 and malawi is also not in a bad stage it's 12% but one more important thing what we have to think is that as i told you yesterday in entrepreneurship journey any entrepreneur who starts a business and want to be successful if we want to make a remark in his side we have to think that this entrepreneurship journey should have a firm ground within at least 18 months of starting a journey so we can see that discontinuation of business unfortunately the top highest discontinuation uh, stage what we can see is that in malawi it's around 30.2% and in zambia it is around 98.19.8 percent i'll be sharing these slides at the end of the i'll is the end of the program or end of the my session so that you can take it as a reference for your uh, the business students business management students and marketing students who are studying in st kitts and john baptist universities and respected countries can take this as a reference or you can take it as a, a reference of note so that you can make a startup uh, sorry a opportunity an entrepreneurial business plan and next thing the fear, fearless entrepreneurs we have to think as there are as today i said there are two types of uh, entrepreneurial journey one is called a calculated risk journey and next one is called uncalculated risk journey so that calculated risk journey means that will be thinking of uh, new new companies sorry calculated risk journey we will be thinking of uh, established companies established companies before iterating or rolling out a product they will be thinking many times of how to roll that product how, what will be the uh, percentage of people who accept that product what are the uh, what are the stuff which we have to think so there will be risk managers in this company who will be calculating based on many mathematical models so that we can find out whether this product is going to uh, going to get the limelight of the day because as an entrepreneur who worked in many companies <clears throat> and who have connections with many companies i can say that uh, out of procter and gamble procter and gamble in unilever uh, unilever uh, types of fmcg companies 98% of the products which they produce will never be successful you should note that point very clearly 98% of the people products which they brought or have been brought 
or are in the process of bringing that to the market will not be succeeded at all so they are banking on totally 1 or 2% of the products to become a leader in the market so fear of failure is a that's that's called a calculated risk and the next one is called uncalculated risk uncalculated risk in the such that we introduce a, pro, a product like father introduces his son and he thinks that my son is the best son in the world so as an entrepreneur he thinks that his product is the best product in the world but as muhammad ali clay said you will never get uh, the feeling of boxing after you enter the ring and you get a punch in the face after you get a punch in the face or you will understand that these are the problems which you are going to face in the market so fear of failure there are two types one is called calculated failure and next one is called uncalculated failure unfortunately percentage of adults with positive perceived sorry fortunately percentage of adults with positive perceived opportunities indicate that the fear of failure would prevent them from setting up a business in malawi and zambia it is 15% so people have a tendency or have a taste of uh, flavor of entrepreneurship in a such a way that that entrepreneurship activities can be successfully enthralled okay next thing what you want to understand is that all you need is confidence so the level of confidence in a uh, country's uh, percentage of adults who see good opportunities to start a firm in the area where they live it is fortunately in zambia it is 77% and in malawi it is 79% and the perceived capacities that is a percentage of adults who believe that they have the required skills and the knowledge to start a business fortunately it is a very high ranking in malawi it's around 89% and in zambia it's not a uh, it's not a low figure which is 80% uh so we can yesterday as i told you there are three types of entrepreneurial activity one is called a vulnerable activity next one is called a stable activity and next one is called emerging activity we can say that africa can african economy or the continent can be divided into three stages so the population current population in africa is around 1.2 1.2 billion people in the country which i am speaking uh it's more than that it's around 1.35 billion so 1.2 billion people is projected to reach to 1.7 billion by 2030 that is within 10 years so more than 80% of african population growth over the next few decades will occur in cities make it in the fast urbanizing region in the world so entrepreneurs have a great chance to succeed in this fast pacing economy because as i told you yesterday africa has abundant unexplored natural resources which can be used for entrepreneurial journey <coughs> at the same time incomes are rising across much of the continent generating new business opportunities in the consumer market we expect to annual spending in african consumers and business to reach to 6.6 trillion by 2020 now what is the stage now it is around 4 trillion in 2015 so it will be roughly right now before corona we can only stay, say that in before corona stage but that is by beginning of 2020 it will be around 5 4 uh, 4.5 trillion or such the, so the the economy is the the entrepreneurial areas where we can um, succeed are in food beverages pharmaceuticals financial services healthcare and education so what are the areas which we can uh, focus on one is called food next is beverages pharmaceuticals financial services healthcare and education i am again saying one is food next one is beverage so we can take it as uh, fmcg next one is pharmaceuticals because i know one company from india which is called sipla sipla is world's largest generic uh, medicine provider so their biggest market is africa financial services we know as i told you yesterday a company called airtel in india have uh, brought 
their payment, digital payment, prior to implementing that in India, in Africa, through Airtel Kenya and uh, many Airtel uh, pay, easy pay uh, methods. Healthcare has a big benefit, a big area, because as I, as I know, medical tourism is an emerging area in India. Emerging uh, area in India. Why? Because uh, majority of the population who doesn't have cheap, best medical facility in across the globe comes to India. So medical tourism is a it's a it's a big opportunity. That's a, that's the reason why companies or sorry hospital chains in India are right now leveraging or trying a feasible study to set up a hospital chains in in, in Africa African countries so that these people can avail their services there. And education, as I told you, education has a big, big opportunity in uh, African countries. So an African industrial revolution is underway as manufacture ramp up production of everything. everything. So industrialization in the sense that industrialization is not the industrialization which we are talking in the 1940s. Now industrialization means that the next session will be based on that digital transformation. So the transformation of industries is happening in the digital format in Africa. Why I am speaking digital transformation is that when we speak of digital transformation, digital transformation, the main benefit is that people can set up a world-class infrastructure and a company based on some technologies which is accessible very cheap and very easily. And there are many important opportunities in uh, manufacturing and Africa is one of the next manufacturing centers as industry shift away from China to the over coast regions. Uh, why, uh, that also can be uh, reiterated in this way because Chinese people are very clever that so that those people have set up uh, their industries in Africa and Indians are also leveraging some uh, some spaces in this sector so that uh, both countries can be uh, flourished together. So the ongoing revolution among industries with the, without the smokestacks, you understand what, what you mean by smokestacks. So smokestack uh, means, smokestack means that uh, the industries which doesn't harm the ecological balance of your environment, that's called a smokestack. That's called a smokestack. So you get me. So which doesn't harm the ecological balance of the country is called smokestack. So uh, America is the world's largest emitter of carbon dioxide in the world right now. Uh, I can say a comedy. Uh, it's, it's a joke that uh, chicken produces more methane than the maximum produced methane, uh, CO2, more than CO2 emissions which comes out of the industries. But uh, due to digital transformations benefit, due to digital transformations benefit, the main uh, positive side of what we can think right now is that uh, the industries such as tourism, agro industry, and some information and communication technology based services think of Africa as a main point for their business flourishment. So traditional mar marketing like that exportability, higher productivity, higher labor intensity doesn't need in unsmokestack industries such as tourism, agro industries, and some information and communication industry. So, Africa is pushing close to is pushing close to fill their infrastructure gap. So as we know, a country in which if it needed to flourish in a big way, it needs to improve its infrastructure. For example, unfortunately, that is not a bad thing because in India we are developing, we are uh, Poised to become the third, third largest economy by 2050. And we are in the top 10 um, economies right now. Then also, 
millions of millions of people are right now doesn't have access to clean water and electricity out of 1.2 billion people in africa 600 million people doesn't have access to electricity grid in north we can say that 600 million can be 500 million now but as you students should think of innovative ideas to fill this gap so that by utilizing natural resources such as wind tidal energy and other types of forms of energy so that these continents or rather africa's infrastructure sorry lack of access to electricity grid problem can be reduced i know uh, from uh, a state in kerala in, in india we know from a state in india called tamil nadu and there are some other states in southern part of india and eastern part of india and uh, some parts of uh, western parts of india have implemented huge amount of wind tidal energy right now why they implemented huge amount of tidal energy is that tidal energy can be compensated can be driven from the nature and can be compensated for the lack of electricity grid uh, electricity availability in the country so we can as an entrepreneur we should not be uh, what you say guilty of the problems what we have we should not think that oh my country is like this my state is like this my continent is like this i am uh, why if i have born in america it would have been better don't think it in that way because americans also have problem europeans also also problem indians also have problem everyone in this world has problem so the problem the magnitude of the problem and the veracity of the problem and the different the, the effect of the problem is different in different uh, continents that is the only thing what we want to think of so 600 people men 600 as an entrepreneur what you should think that there is a business opportunity for me for a 600 million consumer or 600 million customer you get me so 600 million is my customer base if a entrepreneur is trying to start a business for electricity power generation unfortunately this streaming uh, i am not getting any any chat live so that uh, what you say i am not uh, able to understand uh, what you people feel about what i say but uh, we will be having a discussion at the end of this session after one hour so that uh, before starting my other session of digital infra transformation so that we can come to know something and africa's annual investment in infrastructure has doubled to around 80 billion us dollars since the beginning of the century but we are looking looking for quantum leap in this infrastructure building up in the near future then one of the best given asset by god almighty to african economy is their agriculture and resource wealth you know the best cart cattle herd uh, best agile people best uh, innovative uh, methodologies which comes out of the world right now and the best uh, we can say soil to cultivate something is in africa you people have abundant resources i have seen a movie called a blood diamond you people also have been seen that movie in that movie we can say the sad side of exploitation by other people we as entrepreneurial thriving community of the next generation should think of innovative ideas to explore and untap the resources which you have which is bestowed upon you by god almighty in that picture you people have abundant opportunity exciting growth opportunities for business for example in oil and gas nigerian wealth africa is rich in unexplored high potential regions and it has un unfortunate it has unmet demand energy okay fine that's not a problem but you people have the resources you people have the resources to tap and uh, to use it in a proper way that's the reason why countries like 
India and China and other countries come to Africa to explore the unexplored areas to and to to grow with you. We Indians come to any country and have a potential partnership with other uh, African uh, states so that both countries can flourish by using the gift which is given by both. So we estimate that the domestic market in Africa will grow by 9% a year. Why 9% a year? Because Africa has a, has a population of 1.2 billion and the young population in that is around 60%. By which time the continent could use up to 70% of its own gas. So that we can think of non-renewable energy, renewable energy sources also. Because you know Elon Musk, an entrepreneur which is celebrated after Bill Gates, uh, sorry, after Steve Jobs on a big way. Uh, he's been celebrated. Why? Because he's being celebrated due to only one reason. And that reason is that he has thought of an innovative process which never harm the economy, sorry, not uh, never harm the uh, energy balance, which never harm the nature balance, and which never harm the other ecological factors which, which thinks of uh, uh, other ecological factors which harm the ecosystem of human being living in the continent. That is called a renewable energy. He thought of running a car using battery. So we also people of the newer generation, in both countries, the young generation who is, who is listening to me and who is having a chatting interaction with me should think of exploring entrepreneurship per se. If you want to scale up, you should think of entrepreneurship journeys without exploiting the natural resources. We, when we give, uh, for example, I can say to you, Pepsi, or rather PepsiCo, has bottling facility, manufacturing facility, and uh, production facility in India. But they give us an advertisement. In that advertisement, it is clearly said, for every one liter which they extract from our land, they replenish five liters to the land. Means for every five liters which they give, they take one liter. This should be the motto of entrepreneurs if we want to succeed and we should have a commitment to the ecology and to the people who live there. Okay. So, Africa has 54 countries in total. 54 countries we have. Out of that 54 countries, okay, out of that 54 countries, Nigeria has nearly 190 million people. Ethiopia, Egypt has over 90 million people each. And most African nations has population below 20 million. So likewise, nine countries make up three quarters of African GDP. Only nine countries. And in 2030, three countries will represent almost half of the household consumption on the continent. That will be first will be Nigeria 20%, Egypt will be 17%, and South Africa will be 11%. Okay. Many smaller countries, however, are growing quickly and increasing their share of continental GDP and consumption. We hope that Malawi and Zambia will be of this sort of countries because you people have suffered a lot due to some ethnic conflicts and some other issues which happened in your both countries. So that we pray to God and we be just wise and judicious so that this never happen in the future. Because you people also have many big opportunities and good, uh, good uh, what we can say, resources to tap in and become a successful country. We expect East Africa and Francophone. Francophone in the sense that the countries which were invaded by France and those people who speak uh, French language as the second language and first language. 
I think it is second language. Uh, our central and west of countries they are sharing overall consumption. So as I told you before, nine countries make up three quarters of African GDP. In 2030, three countries will represent almost half of the household consumption. Nigeria 20%, Egypt 17%, and South Africa 57%. So this will be one of the slides which you can use uh, for your uh, presentations. As I told you before, there are three types of economies which we can distinguish. One is called stable growers, next one is called vulnerable growers, and next one is called slow growers. Stable growers are these economies or those economies which relatively are less dependent on resources for growth. That's the reason why I told you before that entrepreneurs who who are uh, thinking of who are thinking of uh, changing the ecosystem or who are thinking of new generation companies should think of making their economy stable growing economy. You get me? You should think of making that economy as a stable growing economy. Vulnerable growing economies are those economies which depend around 90% on the natural resources. That is petroleum, natural gas, such as such, so that and so forth. Countries such as Angola, Nigeria are heavily dependent on resource exports. Other countries such as Democratic Republic of Congo face security or governance challenges. I hope it is being completed or it is in, uh, in the positive stage right now. I was very excited when I heard that uh, Nobel Prize was given to the president in uh, Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, I think so, uh, last year or the year before. So we were very happy because uh, as Indians, you people have uh, understood how to resolve the conflict in a beautiful way. And, uh, and we, uh, we were very excited to hear uh, about Wangari Matai. Bangari Matai was an, was an extraordinary gentlewoman. Uh, she uh, had a Nobel Prize and she, I re read about uh, her, uh, her story about uh, her story about the commitment to the ecology by, by planting around uh, 10 million trees in her entire career. And uh, her story has been fascinating. And uh, I used to read many foreclose and uh, many stories from African diaspora so that we can understand uh, how ca how you pe your people agonize with pain and how you people are ready to sacrifice to come to the positive side of life. And there are slow growers such as uh, Libya, Tunisia, Arab Spout, Utah, and uh, I know from my uh, minimum research that uh, you countries like uh, Malawi and Zambia are uh, not uh, in that category. So, how to win in Africa? How to win in Africa? So, winning in Africa is altogether a different ball game. So, Africa's successful firms differ widely in their geographic and sector focus. What they have in common is the imagination, see the continents, unmet needs, and opportunities of entrepreneurship. How to win now? That's a very big question. So, as I told you, in countries where you have natural resources on a large scale, you can succeed by using that natural resources and by other methods also. For example, the the richest person in Africa is called, uh, is from, uh, from Nigeria. And his company is called Dangote Industries, which manufacture commodities. And uh, we know it's, it, uh, why he became successful is that he have devised a shock proof manufacturing model using vertical integration of the supply chain, on-site power generation, robust engagement of resources, and good engagement and good repertoire with the government and internal manufacturing academy. So if you want to solve entrepreneurs who are ready to solve problems and innovate to meet Africa's unmet needs, you have tremendous opportunity of growth. So 
so in the session we will be discussing about 14 business ideas with strong profit potential in africa these are 14 ideas which i am going to discuss and i will be discussing at the end of the slide and nine business who are successful or who are going to be successful in uh, in malawi and zambia so one of the business idea is electric motor gun why we discussed that africa has a large infrastructure gap so vehicles such as cars suvs muvs and other category vehicles will not have access to every nook and corner of the total land so one of the best business idea what i can say to you is electric motor bike next one is housing market so before jumping into this one i can tell you the successful model which is being implemented abroad uh, away from africa electrical motor bike is indonesia indonesian companies have one company called gojek i don't know whether i am correcting uh, spelling it right or wrong gojek that company has created a 1 billion dollar asset valuation company 1 billion valuation asset valuation company within a span of one year not one year sorry three years so electrical motorbike and has a big opportunity in thailand also it is being successful in thailand also it is successful and in indonesia it is also successful but in india they tried but that business model is not working because indians have very big tendency for going in either tuk tuk a three wheeled uh, bicycle tuk tuk which is called a tuk tuk across we say it is auto rickshaw but uh, across uh, the globe apart from india it is said a tuk tuk and uh, electric motor bike has not been successful here so but you people have a big opportunity uh, apart from the apart from the uh, infrastructure electrical grid problem if you people are coming with an innovative idea of uh, charging the electricity electric vehicle uh, it is a good idea next one is housing market housing market is that people doesn't have uh, 25% annum appreciation in real estate is happening in kenya why because housing market because disposable income and the income of the middle community of the total society if it becomes high than the older community definitely those people will be thinking of nuclear families and these people will be thinking of living differently or separately so housing market has a big opportunity next one is garbage disposal garbage disposal has big opportunity in africa it is not in africa it is everywhere i have uh, read that an, an entrepreneur in india has created an Five million dollar company from garbage by producing uh, electricity from garbage. I myself has uh, been a consultant to an uh, waste disposal company which was incubated under NASCOM, uh, elect, uh, NASCOM's uh, elite uh, startups for uh, uh, based on IoT that is in Internet of Things. and uh, other stuff so that uh, that company didn't be didn't uh, be successful because the business partners who i have consulted were thinking of uh, monetizing it on a uh, on a very fast pace but uh, if we think it was a slow process garbage disposal and garbage collection these types of stuff has a large uh, what you can say a large opportunity in your in your in your continent and especially in your, in both of the countries next one is called a batter recycle as i told you 
few people have abundant natural resources in the forms of tidal energy and solar energy so solar energy in industry has provided electricity to millions of households in africa i think i hope that in john baptist and uh, eugene university few people have solar uh, panels and stuff like that prominent companies in this industry are em copa solar peg africa lumos global solar electric to name a few these types of companies you have a big opportunity so battery recycling is an opportunity why because you can use it for appliances such as light bulbs torch mobile phone chargers radio and even digital television you get me recycling of systems battery it has been said that lead to an environmental disaster so battery recycling uh, proper disposal I, and i know from uh, many worlds uh, shipping industries are dumping their old ships in africa so that uh, they can uh, they, in the process that they can use it for other other methods and efficient maintenance and repair and operation industry africa doesn't produce much of the inputs needed to manufacture at scale so we have an opportunity here that we can be a repair and maintenance overhaul industry of the total globe so that we can provide we as you people have large amount of youth uh, uh, youth in those countries who can be trained very easily because you people are very intelligent and you are people are very adaptable to scale so that maintenance and repair operation industry has a big opportunity here next to underscore some related business tourism related business has a big opportunity in africa it has a big opportunity in africa so it can bring because countries like uh, kenya zambia zimbabwe malawi i have no much idea that uh, how much tourism has uh, flourished in your country but zambia has it can bring many uh, opportunities because i know that uh, from my experience that ethiopia has rebranded their airline industry and they have uh, brought new fleets to their repertoire to their own trade so that they can be a hub for america to asian countries through africa so they started an economic corridor in that way through air ethiopian airlines so we have we understood that because some people my friends are the working there then you can be an add value to local commodities so that you can produce as uh, one of uh, faculty who have taken uh, a session prior before to me on friday i hope so that uh, people have uh, uh, have uh, started uh, like in the sense that the, the, those people have uh, So we're we're exploring the unexplored models there, and he was saying that how an entrepreneur should be, and how an entrepreneur by tapping the natural resources he should be able to uh, what you can say uh, to to produce a stuff which is uh, which is uh, manufactured from a no natural product and which should be rebranded or branded on a large scale and, uh, and sold it outside. i can give you an example take a banana and make a juice uh, you will get a kilo of banana for 5 malawian dollars or zambian currency and you can sell it for 150 as a juice that example i have seen in the video before you can become a supplier to chinese companies in africa and you can become a supplier to the Afri- indian companies in africa there are estimated 10000 chinese owned businesses in africa and there are estimated around 5000 business owners uh, uh, indian owned the business in africa because i know one company called karturi they are the world's largest uh, rose manufacturers in the world they have 100000 hectares of cultivated rose in uh, what you can say in uh, in africa in kenya then export around 20 to 35 million us dollars uh, uh, rose uh, per year 
and you should not under, underestimate the rural middle class consumers goods and company shouldn't underestimate the purchasing power of rural areas that is a rural economy is also thriving and next big thing you can uh, think of is in education services because online education as a big scope you know companies like edumi coursera and harvard uh, harvard universities edx those types of companies have tapped are, are in the process of tapping unmet people who doesn't have the financial capacity to complete a full course be inducted to these universities using this program i hope that is universities in st eugene and coursera they have an offer right now for uh, due to this covid scenario that the university students of uh, african countries and asian countries can avail uh, their degree courses their certificate courses which cost around 100 dollars to 500 dollars for free for a limited time so you people can avail those over offer on also and uh, next is street hawkers will be converted to powerful marketing activities don't talk it take it in a negative uh, uh, sense because uh, different uh, african model business models simply can't scale without boots on the ground because online internet penetration is increasing but it has not been increased to a saturated level so you we need marketing activators so students of eugene university and saint baptist university should think of a career at the beginning of the stage as sales people because i tell you i uh, give you an advice that the world's best profession what you can take at the beginning of your career is sales so that when you go to uh, i'll give you an example see i uh, met a manager from hindustan unilever which is a subsidiary of unilever company uh, who does uh, who have passed from a prestigious university a business school in india he said that he was deputed as sales rep- uh, senior sales associate after he's been inducted into unilever as a marketing manager a sales process representative senior representative of sales process in eastern uttar pradesh uttar pradesh is a heartland of india and that is nearby to the to the what you can say nepal border nepal is a country which is nearby to india which is which is a very small country we have a cordial relation with this country. nepal is the only hindu populated hindu dominated country in the world right now uh so he said that when he went to eastern up he thought that uh, by uh, what you can say by his educational credentials that he can um, he can leverage them. but when he went there he understood different ball set uh, the different set of ball game uh in the sense that um, what you study from college cannot be emulated as such without any prior experience on the ground so you people should think of uh building up a, a career profession in sales before jumping into other activities so business people and economics people i say then another one thing what i can refer to you is intra country tourism that means a, a person from malawi can visit nigeria a person from nigeria can visit zambia a person from sub saharan area like uh, libya tunisia egypt can visit your areas people can visit sub saharan area so we have 54 countries in in total since 54 countries uh, have uh, have, uh, have domestic travel opportunities and tours are underrated your tours and positions are underrated till now tourism space is poorly managed there are a vast number of people across the market segments who can afford <clears throat> who can hardly afford out of uh, each countries for holidays breaks and sightseeing so you people should think of innovative ideas to bring communities together in the continent itself that is one of the ideas one of the insights what i can deliver you then manufacturing of matches that is also a possibility 
Okay, now we will come to the last session of uh, yesterday's uh, point. That is uh, Malawian startups and Zambian startups. I have uh, selected some startups from Malawi and Zambia who are uh, very successful in their uh, in their entrepreneurial journey, which is to watch. So intelligent monitoring systems have been around for some time and you know, that's called IMOSIS. You can see the photo. This is the photo of that company. I know that uh, people who listen to me or who people who see me right now uh, will be uh, watching, will be knowing, will be accustomed to that. So intelligent monitoring systems has been around for some time as an innovative company that is pushing technology and engineering to the extreme by developing internal companies and AI for Malawian market so that they come with a solar powered water kiosk called ITAP, which allow people across the country access using smart card. So as I told you before, we have a pain problem. Now what is the pain problem? We have a pain problem called water access. Okay. And there are two types of water, right? One is called contaminated water. Next one is called non-drinkable water and drinkable water. You can categorize it. So, uh, due to the natural resources what we have, and due to the an opportunity this entrepreneur has found out, his name is uh, Miami Co. Miami Co. Nukloma. I'm sorry if I have pronounced it uh, wrong because uh, uh, sometimes uh, the pronunciation in local dialect and English dialect will be having difference. I apologize if uh, prior to spelling it. Miami Co. Nikoloma. 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 Miami Co. Nikoloma. This person has come with a solar water powered kiosk which allows people using the technology. So what have what is his technology he used? IoT. That is Internet of Things to uh, connect to the system using sensors. And he connected it to an AI based machine so that he understood what types of people come, what type of water we get, uh, what type of water can be, what kind of water in different, different seasons can be received as uh, contaminated water, uh, clean water. So artificial intelligence has been a big use there. And uh, so he brought a business model there. Uh, and this guy, why I selected this guy is he got an award from the United Nations in the ITU International Telecommunication Union Conference in 2017. And he have got many expression of interest from several investors in the Malawian Investment Forum in 2017. Okay, this is the photo of the company. The next one is called a Noble Agritech. This is an agriculture technology company which does, as I told you before, soil test, farm design, planning, agriculture system automation, irrigation setup, and agriculture consultancy. See the beauty of it. Because he understood that there is a pain point there. He understood that there is a business model which needs to be envisioned or which can be, uh, what you can say, which can be explored on a large scale. So he teamed up with us to start an agri-tech company that automates systems for horticulture and farmers in Malawi. And in 2018, this young chap has been designed irrigation systems, aquaponics. I, uh, I'll explain you what is aquaponics. Aquaponics is a method by which you can, uh, you can cultivate uh, agriculture without soil. Hydro aquaponics, yeah, aquaponics is there, hydroponics is there. Aquaponics and uh, hydroponics installed greenhouses for farmers across the country. They have a lot of potential and opportunity to grow very fast in the country. They rely on agriculture. See, he understood that agriculture is the lifeline of the country. He understood that there is a pain problem in that agriculture. He understood that there are these are the various areas where you have a pain problem. One is field soil test, farm design, planning of agriculture systems, automation of that systems, irrigation setup and uh, uh, what you can say uh, sale of the produce and next one is called basket malawi i was very fascinated by reading this company's success because this company is uh, 
it's a company which uh, has an e-commerce platform but doesn't have a website they sell everything using whatsapp they everything uh, they sell everything because in india a uh, facebook company has understood that uh, whatsapp is a big big business potential is a big business potential for uh, india indian consumers to deal uh, their stuff so they have invested in a company called misho so that this company what they do misho is that misho uh, I'll, i'll show you that companies uh, i'll show you that companies website Now this is the company. Look here. You can start your business from home with zero investment. So you get the link from here. After getting the link, you Facebook has invested in this company. So every sale can be seen. Uh, that is uh, around 12 million US dollars of income has been generated. Around uh, 10 million products, roughly 9 million products has been so sold, and 5,000 pounds has been covered. What you want to do is you browse, share, and sell your products using WhatsApp. See, look here, WhatsApp, Facebook, and Instagram. this is the same business model which is copied by this company but not on a large scale like uh, this company called misho and i tell you this company success story 50% of uh, entrepreneurs who do business on misho are women you get me 50% of the and some of some women entrepreneurs earn around you can say roughly 1000 dollars per month is in this case. so what they, this company uh, basket malawi basket malawi does this this company doesn't have a website this is the company so what they does is see this area i want to show to you so they receive they do every transaction using what using only whatsapp this company have created a business model using this thing that's the reason why i shared my shared my screen and i'm going to show you this and their customer service their experience everything has been shown in this way i know that you people who are listening to me will be knowing about this company and next one is quiza equity partners as i told you africa has a huge opportunity in uh, what you can say in in uh, finance so their the options are limited to banks family funds and micro finance institutions and so forth and so forth and that this is called fonto app so fonto means it's improved a lot of their uh, so fonto is an app which shows the location of an event
this is the stuff. It's called a Loma code technologies. It shows you, tell you every events which is going on in my major Malawian cities. That is Blaine Tire, Lilongwe, Zomba, Muzuzu, Salima, Mangochi, Nkata Bay, Lipoma Island. This area, they will show you every event and they have a rating of around 4.8. This is an opportunity because youth population is very high. You people can use this as a good, uh, as, a, as a tool which can be because they understood the pain point, which is youth. Youth, they are accustomed with. The next one is called a TNE app. TNE is also a sort of a tourism app. Next one is Uber like riding app, which is called Eco Ride. And the last one is Quasar Arts. Okay, this is, uh, this comes to, I'll give you a session in this, I'll complete this. So, then the, what are the nine traits a successful entrepreneur you should have to develop yourself? One is motivation, next one is creativity, persuasiveness, vision, versatility, risk tolerance, flexibility. And deceiveness, decision witness, collaboration. And these are the nine things which uh, should be there as a trait for searching for an economic opportunity. Over to you, Anthony, sir, before coming to the next session. If people have any doubts, any, any things to discuss, I will be happy to discuss it with them. Rajkumar. Uh, dear participants, uh, 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 yesterday we left some of the topics, so our presenter uh, did now. Uh, next session will be start. If you have any doubts uh, regarding this session, I'll appreciate uh, I can answer it right now. Dear participants, if you have the question, uh, please shoot out your questions in the chat box. The resource person ready to answer your questions. Mr. Latif, yes, sir, Latif, sir. Hmm. you proceed your second session, sir. Second session. Uh, we can ask the questions uh, and find out. Okay, okay. So, no, okay, fine, fine. So, can I get, can I disconnect for five minutes and come again? Okay, sir. Okay, okay. sir. Okay. I'll come within two minutes. Hello? Okay, sir. No, otherwise yeah. you do one thing, yeah. Raj Kumar. Don't disconnect. You can disconnect the students. Uh, we will be in chat so that I can take my slide and we will start again. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, dear participants, uh, if you have any queries, just type in your chat box. Uh, we will discuss in the uh, final of the next presentation.
काइंडली होल्ड ऑन राजकुमार सर यस सर या इट्स ओके नाउ द टुडेस का सेशन वाज क्लियर राइट यस देयर वाज नो टेक्निकल इशू क्लियर ओके देयर वाज नो टेक्निकल इशू नो टेक्निकल इशू ओके थैंक गॉड yesterday we suffered a lot you had your breakfast hello yes sir yes sir yes sir you had your breakfast yes sir get ready for that presentation okay we can start yes please proceed okay so now i will be discussing about the digital transformation in sales management digital transformation which can be used uh, in uh, sales process digital transformation which can be used in many process so that we can bring our business to an agile model so i'll be discussing about it uh, from this to one and a half hours which come so you have seen this uh, the speed of change what is there right now in front of us the speed of change by which the companies have uh, changed their business model have changed the technology landscape have changed everything see starting from analog technology to the digital technology to the internet technology to the social technology social technology and to the mobile technology okay we have very weak speed of change this is called a digital transformation technology what we are going to discuss so companies who started in the industrial revolution area that is 1940 1940 uh, time we are thinking of uh, telegram telex as such for the business opportunities and in 1970s and 1975 80s as such you have uh, digital technology countries developed countries extremely developed countries like united states and britain and this technology has been flourished for a long time and it has been uh, brought to a standstill so not standstill it has been flourished in many countries by beginning in india we can say it has been done by 1990s and africa we can say after 2000s digital technology has come in 1969 internet technology was in a nascent stage in us because they took the research uh, they took the research methodology from defense activities in a pedagogy called darpa and they took it uh, from darpa and they have envisioned a program to connect between different nuclear bunkers and that technology when they transfer to universities and university is used it uh, as such and that university is used to that technology to connect to different companies 
it has to different uh, companies to different states to different countries it has become an international network and it was envisioned under international telecommunication union under ages of un and it has become international so the speed of change you can say from analog to digital it took around 60 years from digital to internet it took around 30 years from internet to show social it took around 15 years from social to mobile technology it took around 5 years now from mobile to wearable technology is going to take 2 years this is the speed of change by which digital transformation is happening right now across the globe i hope you understood analog to digital technology what happened analog to digital technology it took how many years 60 years from digital to internet it took 30 years from internet to social it took 7.5 years from mobile social to mobile it took only 5 years from mobile to you can say from mobile to wearable devices it is going to take only 2 years so we are in a stage called internet that is from 19 uh, you can say 95 to 2020 as a boy or a gentleman who has born in 1990 to 1995 you can say generation z this category boy is called an internet boy so we are in digital kindergarten. So we, uh, as Ray Kurzweil said, we won't experience 100 years of progress in the 21st century. It will be more like 20,000 years of progress at today's rate. You get me the point? We won't experience 100 years of progress in the 21st century it will be like 20,000 years of progress at today's rate. That is the magnanimity of uh, magnanimity of uh, technological explosion which is happening. After ending this session, I will give you some technologies by which you can have a digital transformation. So we won't experience 100 years of progress. In the 21st, we will be experiencing 20,000 years of progress at today's rate. So can you see what is this? This is an uh, gear which you can connect on your face called augmented reality gear, which is uh, introduced or uh, what you can say, which is devised by a company called Oculus, acquired by Facebook. Now Facebook is investing a lot on this technology so that next generation of shopping will be of this sort. Previously in marketing, I'll tell you in sales, we, why we are discussing about sales is that um, uh, prior to, in, in first form of marketing, it was done by, you can say, by firing an explosion and uh, putting up a sound, then hitting on a drum, then going uh, by sending it to using parrots, select messages, then newspapers, so on and so forth. Now it is the social era where you cannot experience a stuff. For example, if you want to uh, buy a, what you can say, buy a shirt or a, a trouser or a leggings or a skirt or a short top, these types of things you cannot experience before in online. So what they did is that they created an augmented reality session where they will take your photo and that photo will be incorporated into this system and the system will artificially make a model of you and they will test the dresses and you can experience it on yourself. This is the form of technology which is happening right now, which is happening right now to experience, to uh, what you can say, to experience, to get the experience of uh, using a product which, without purchasing a product. This is called, this is the latest form of technology in, uh, in the world. 
so you can you can uh, what you can say you can experience these types of technology using short method like uh, card box samsung's card bo cardboard is there i can show you it's, uh, it's uh, so This is the this is a type of uh, gear which you can use. But uh, Samsung has, unfortunately, I am not able to get the image of that. Uh, Samsung has a card box type image, uh, the type box which we can use, which we can use uh, for uh, virtual reality viewing. And India, it costs around uh, 450 to 1000 rupees. Uh, rupees in the sense that uh, you can say 1000 rupees in the sense that $20. Does, those sort of uh, things. So after that, so how we are going to explain about where all digital transformation has happened. Digital transformation has already happened in news coverage. You know, Facebook, you can get uh, Facebook Live. You can watch that same stuff using Facebook Watch Party. You can use it in Snapchat. You can use it in, uh, you can say YouTube. You can use it in many things. So the digital transformation has already uh, been happened in news coverage. Digital transformation has already happened in education. Digital transformation has already happened in sports. Digital transformation has already happened in shopping. Digital transformation has already happened in quarter room because I can tell you an example now. In India, due to this corona pandemic, all the quarter proceedings are right now happening on an app and on a software called Zoom. This was software. All the stuff is happening right now using this software. All the quarter proceedings is happening using Zoom. Entertainment, you know, there are many companies like Amazon, Prime, Netflix, Hulu, and uh, Netflix is right now creating uh, series in African uh, diaspora uh, because entertainment has come to a new paradigm called OTT over the air technology over the technology over the television counter you can say it in many paradigms so entertainment has come therapy that is medical therapy using medical imaging x-ray imaging teleconsultation medical consultation right now it has been happened in sales also so what are the areas where digital transformation has happened digital transformation which has happened in news coverage has happened in education has happened in sports has happened in shopping has happened in courtroom has happened in entertainment, has happened in therapy, and has happened in sales. So our lives change. Look at this. Look at this image. Prior to uh, in 1990s, students were playing in this way. But right now, people are playing in using mobile phones and stuff. So according to CEO of Accenture, digital is the main reason just over half the companies on the Fortune 500 have disappeared since the year 2000. You can see, uh, you can, I'll tell you a story about uh, a Bible story, which we can very easily get accustomed to. Uh, David and Goliath. David and Goliath. So in this, we can say about big companies and small companies. We can explain David as small companies who are innovative, who are fast, 
who are ready to adapt, who are agile, who are vision, have a vision, who can implement a product at a very fast speech, and who are uh, Goliath are the main big corporations. From Bible, we can understand that uh, Goliath has been defeated by using uh, by David, King David, using a spade and a stone. The same technique has been taken by the small innovative companies of the recent era so that these companies can thrash the larger companies. You can understand like, what is the valuation of this company, Zoom. It is combined of United, United Airlines and American major three airlines capital valuation is less than this company's valuation right now, which is a video conferencing company. You understood. So Zoom uh, Corporation or Zoom, that company's product has a market capitalization of 47 US billion dollars. That same company's capitalization is three companies total capitalizations more. That is the major three airlines of United States of America. Why? Because they have adopted digital transformation to their kitty. They understood the pain point of the consumer. They understood what are the needs of the consumer in the present era. They understood what can be done in order to solve the problem. And when there is a product in the market, they understood when they, because uh, Zoom's uh, founder has been working in a company called Webex. Webex is a part of Cisco. He understood that how Cisco has negligibly marginalized Webex for conference activities and that activities has uh, come to his head. You get me. So uh, that is why, because why I'm saying so, because digital is the main reason just over half of the companies on the Fortune 500 has disappeared. Why? Because they are not ready to adapt. They are not ready to adapt. Business change is imminent. See, we can explain. 1995. 1995, music, photography, and video rental was the largest capacity. Virgin music, you all can understand Virgin music. Virgin labels were the largest company. 2010. It has transferred from music, photography, and video rental to print media, TV, and travel, and human resource. In 2015, it has again changed to retail, healthcare, automotive, education, telecom, food, FMCG, banking, and insurance. In 2020, all together, the, the ball set has been changed. All safe havens, every haven. From 1995 till 2020, that is 25 years, every industry has been attacked by digital transformation. So you, as a person, if you are not ready to get into this haven, you will be in a trap. So digital transformation is a necessity. It is not a luxury. See the look, music was digitally transformed starting from 1995. Photography, like you, you understand the example of Kodak. You can understand the example of Kodak. Kodak. What, where is the company now? The company has been a history. It's obsolete because they were not adapt. Video render. You can understand VHS uh, cassettes. CDs, DVDs, where are they now? Print media, they have been attacked by digital newspapers. Washington Post, which was acquired by Amazon. Why? Because paper sale was negligible. TV, it is attacked by digital transformation. Now, right now in Kerala, we have a channel here called 24-7. A channel, they have, they have incorporated uh, augmented reality to the news portfolio so that the people can understand when there is a there was a latest issue there was a 
there was an issue from uh, what you can say issue in uh, between india and china a minor uh, land border issue which was resolved right now successfully that same stuff was seen in the tv using augmented reality they were showing us that okay this is the area where chinese people have encroached you this is the area where our soldiers have laid to rest they were martyred this is the area where we fought back this is the area where we are going to catch the again from everything was shown to us in augmented reality format see the for they see the experiential learning we are getting using digital transformation we don't have to get out of the room we don't want to go to kashmir we don't go to want to go to that area we don't want to experience anything but we can know everything for sure inside our living room travel digital transformation has happened why because every ticket ticket papers were everything was issued in in paper okay now you don't have to visit a, i know a terminal in singapore changi's t3 where there is no staff there is no staff at all you go there take your mobile phone show to the screen you will get the pnr number put it there it will be incorporated show your passport to the screen it will be saved put your baggage go rest go to the plane there is no staff at all human resource the other area because everything is right now uh, you cannot judge anything on biased format why i am saying so is that i am i am right now my company exam summary is in the process of creating a school in that format you get me my company exam summary is in the process of uh, trying to start a school in that format you get me so um human resource because right up before we were ever writing everything in paper we were judging everything biased on format biased uh, judging everything by so based on biased format right now everything in performance management recruitment procedure uh, sales management uh, everything can be incorporated into digital using as we put up in the previous slide artificial intelligence and smart technologies we can incorporate everything you get me from 2015 we understood understood that retail healthcare automotive see automotive tesla tesla is an example of digital transformation tesla has brought tesla has understood that by 2030 by 2050 we cannot live in this world as the world which we are seeing right now due to carbon emission so they found out that there is a pain point they found out that if this technology has been in we will be incorporating what happened we can put it there so they stuffed everything into automotive they brought a battery car that's automotive education i'll show you a company in india i'll show you a company this is the famous company in india this one this company that transformed education in a big phase this company's valuation right now is us dollar 10 billion they have 5 crore that means 50 million registered users they have 50 million registered users they have access to 50000 videos they have test quizzes because they tied up because when they saw the potential a conglomerate like disney has tied up with this company to bring business forward and this is the founder of the company this guy he was a mathematics teacher he understood how this thing can be used digital transformation this thing can be used digital transformation in food you can so i'll show you another company which is called this thing he used a digital transformation he used a digital transformation this this company he used to this okay he used a digital uh, geo fencing geo tagging he he used a digital transformation in a big way you 
you get me so in ban i don't want to explain much because africa has large of potential and africa has large of uh, technologies which uh, has been already tested there we can say in africa the banking See, look here. Real time. Capital Africa. We brought it. Western Union. They will cross border money in India and Africa. First of all, they brought it in Africa. Now they have brought it where in India. So we will again go to this uh, thing. The digital transformation. If you want to study digital transformation, this is the book we sh we should. Uh, take it as a bible this book digital transformation a model to market digital disruption okay digital transformation top of the high side look here trigger you can see inflated expectations plateau of productivity slope of enlightenment throat of dissolution now it is in the inflated expectation stage so digital transformation is there at the hype cycle is there at the hype cycle is there at the area where you can everyone is right now looking for a transformation in this field look the google search volume for digital transformation how you can look the search volume is that you go to a software called google and uh, search their google trends in this trend change here Malawi. I would have taken right now Malawi. Now we will push there. Digital transformation. no problem in malawi you don't you have no, you don't have that much okay we will exp we will see that in in india Look here, the plateau of searches which is happening. See, so this is the method by which you can search for digital transformation. And we can understand. We will be explaining about each companies: Uber, Airbnb, and Tesla. What was the digital transformation which happened to Uber? why uber became a successful company see i'll give you an i'll give you a story when um, uber ceo went to france and he booked a taxi service he understood that how arrogant these people were how union people were uh, harassing them so he understood the pain point and that pain point was cleared using the present infrastructure in the market by the help of digital transformation 
so the normal cars were re enlightened re envisioned to a different business model using digital what about uh, airbnb same house same homestay same small hotels same uh, unrated rooms were transferred or transformed to a different ball game what about tesla same uh, stuff the car technology the car which is run in the present in the market same thing has been changed to what an electrical car so what happened in this is that this is the importance of it disruptors play a totally different game because they are invited for appetite of venture capital they will be having a global scale they will be digital by default every stuff which they do will be using digital every stuff which they do will be using digital amazon world's richest person jeff bezos his company is totally digital there is no physical infrastructure some buildings he says his darling is this product this is the stuff by which he make 90% of his money aws this is the this is the foundation or the stepping stone for digital right now what is happening in the world next one is netflix you know what digital because i don't have to explain much you people in africa will be more intelligent than me in using netflix and hulu another one is hulu this uh, platform i think so you have heard of this thing hulu and now in india we have another uh, firm called uh, See, every every films has been have been released on this this one hot star every serials everything has been released on this in india we have another one more uh, this come entertainment is an area where you do it uh, very very quickly and next to one is called this one this this hmm? these are the techno you know in a digital transformation apart from netflix and in india apart from airbnb this is the company which copied their model and became very successful i know in africa also they have i don't know whether they have in malawi no oh, there it's not there in and they don't have it this is the company very famous in india no you don't have 
Okay, so we will come again to examples. I am I am showing you the examples in the such that you university students will come to know the different types of companies which can be studied for your uh, for your base research. So think what the impact will be for you. This is a reality. Sixty-five percent of the jobs today won't exist in twenty twenty. Sixty-five percent. I say, after Corona, you can say to me that eighty uh, percent of the jobs which happened or which is running right now is not going, my dear friends, to be there by twenty twenty-five. The hot job, new job in Silicon Valley. Okay, we can say as a as a jock, it's robots assistant. See this. robot is helping everyone to put to lay bricks sales person how are we going to do the sales okay this is the example what we want to explain customer is going to self service company is going to do everything using inbound competitor will be using new tools so i'll explain each and every one company inbound inbound means every sale process which is happening in the company is going to be inbound all outbound sales process will be done by the automation procedure of the tools so competitors analysis will be done by tools companies okay competitor how can, how can we analyze the competitor we can we can study that using some tools if you want to analyze your competitors uh, what to say ads what they have put you can use this software ads for using this software this software what you can do is you can e copy each companies ads what they have done what they are going to do Uh, how they have uh, copied? What all keywords they use? See, look here. Add text, site type, media type, technologies, gender, age, seen after, daily likes, total likes. So these types of things will be completely run by technology. So your competitor analysis, your customer onboarding, you will be doing every type of. Uh, emails using email automation so you can do thousands and thousands of email at a go using this software salesforce or you can use uh, another software called it net course market the marketing automation so what are the benefits of this software you can find answers show only what they like recommendation you can push amplification get your foot on the door act apply actionable app analytics marketing consultancy okay now based to pricing everything you can do using this software now why i am saying to you as why using some different different examples is that you people who comes out of the university uh, this year should look on sales process by using automation in the help of digital transformation technologies because everything is what data based engagement analytics multi channel marketing hyper personalization everything is done using what digital transformation now how to do competitor analysis we can go here and type competitor analysis
so you can go here this uh, tools you can go or you can search for this guy this guy is a very good guy he is uh, very reputable in this field which is called neel patel is an indian guy of us he is an indian origin us guy you can see many softwares like uber suggest this is company software word so that you can how other computer has grown their traffic you try so to understand of each go to google See, we can understand this tag for this. Mix. We can use each company's knowledge stack. What all they have used. Use it for so which technology other process. Which technology has this? Everything we can find out. so these are the tools which you can use wordpress joomla drupal promotion the other things which you capturing you can use lead pages insta page lander for marketing automation you can use these tools and for crm you can use this tool. for crm i can tell you another software which is called uh, this thing this is the crm which you can use uh, this is the crm which you can use i can show you a video of this so this is free you can use this software for free for limited resources so what all things you will get here so here chat and video calendars social intranet emails document management user groups hr system everything can be received from here now again we go to the other other thing so there are two sides of business which you can do using digital transformation one is called b2b that is business to business and next one is called b2c which is business to consumer so business to business means you you trade everything using uh, you have a business entity you have a business with another business 
Another thing is that B2C means uh, you have a business, you will be talking directly to consumer. So I'll give you some examples of that. In sales, these are the companies. Look here. Nomtech, Clavio, Argo, XITE, Angie, Camera One, Atalon, Raven DB, InnoLabs, Webini, Brain Hub, Anyhano, Evante. These are the types of the companies which you can, you can consider as B2B, business to business. So how to get these companies directly is using at this software. This thing, LinkedIn. More profile is here. You can go to home. So from here, the lead management, you have a software here called, look here, find leads. This thing. Insight to get analytics on leads. From here, you can go to a software called Premium Products. Sales Navigator, Sales Navigator Team. This thing you can use for one month free. One month free trial for it. Look here, it can be used for one month free. So there you can get five leads and accounts in your target market. Get real-time insights from warm outreach. Build trusted relationship with customer prospects. Sales Navigator includes partners for our team, shared feedback, collaborate effectively with your teammates. What you can do in this 20 email messages, advanced lead search, lead recommendation and saved leads, all premium features, standalone sales interface, customer lead and account list, alerts and insights, online video courses. These things you can get in this they, the people who are in my friend list, if they are using this, can be seen in this way. So this thing you have to learn very neatly. You can get my profile here. I am working with Facebook uh, since... Since uh, 2018, for this project, uh, grow your business, lead your lead, uh, grow your business in and South Asia with Facebook in 2000, uh, 2017 for a project called Boost Your Business. This is my profile. If any one of you friends. If they want to become a friend of me, can send a request to me in this thing. I can accept you and I can help you in your digital transformation area. Now again, we see the buyer's journey. Research found that customers reported being nearly 60% through the sales process before engaging as a representative. So they will understand you. What is your product? See, for example, if you, uh, someone want to buy some product from Amazon. If they want to select a product. Let us take this. In this thing, they will be researching and they will be finding out everything about it. 
to get every technology from the manufacturer, from the designer, how to grow, what are the positive side, what are the product information. Everything will be learned and they will be getting question answers about this, customer support, and finally they will be looking for this customer review. By feature, by sturdiness, by giftable, how to review this product, video review, everything will be seen here. So, the research found out that customers reported being nearly 60% through the sales process before engaging a sales representative was to give the price point. So, research found out that food, 32% research, people research before buying a food. Clothing, 44% people research before buying a product. Electronic 64% research before buying a product. B2B 75% people research before buying a product. So, our business model will be in three stages. One is awareness, consideration, and decision. So, awareness, we will use internet. Consideration, we will use internet. Decision, we will use it. How to use the awareness ads? So for that, as uh, I have shown you in last slide, an African company from Malawi, that basket, they have said awareness and consideration. Uh, what was that? Which one? See here. This company, how they are generating awareness. They are generating awareness that during these difficult times, your safety is our ultimate concern. Okay, so you we will give you fruits that are not corona infected. We will go all out to ensure you are served. If you have groceries or vegetables you need, stay home. Just to send us a WhatsApp. That is what consideration. Look here. So they generated awareness using this thing and they generated consideration using this thing and they closed the sales using this thing. See the beauty of it. So their awareness was generated this using this difficult times. The safety is our ultimate concern. We go all out to ensure you are served. If you have groceries or fresh vegetables, you need to stay uh, at home. Just to send us a WhatsApp and we will deliver all across the long way. So, awareness, consideration, and decision can be taken using this method. Okay. Now, always be closing. Using digital transformation, every time what you can do is you can. Close a deal very easily. So look this. Every time you sell a product or show a product or tell someone to see a product, your only ultimate aim using digital transformation channels as a salesperson should only be sell, sell, sell. And the customer's mindset should be buy, buy, See, we show a car in red color that is pre-owned. So if you have less money, you can buy this car. If you have good money, buy this car in different shades, in different color, in different entree, different formats. So this will be the process of sales. What happened? A salesperson should his mind should be every time considering sell, 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 and the other person should be considering buy, buy. So B2B e-commerce is on the rise. B2B e-commerce is on the rise. You can see from 2015 to 2020, like 2014, you can see 
It's 692 billion. Now it is 1.132 trillion. So cumulative aggregate growth rate from 2015 to 2020 is around 7.7 percent. Share of the total B B to B sales across United States of America is around 12.1 percent. That's all done through e-commerce sales. Forrester, the world's one of the richest research company, has said that one million U.S. B to B sales people will lose their job to sell service e-commerce by the year 2020. Look here, self service e-commerce. How do self service can be done using these types of tools? These types of tools can be used for sales fulfillment. So we can come to the other conclusion that the way we buy is changing. We are doing competitor analysis. We are doing many types of platform uh, research. We are doing many things to research about a product. So the way you sell needs to also to be changed. Okay, the way we buy is changing. Definitely, the way you sell needs to be changed. So door to door, door to door driven. Mind buying a vacuum cleaner in 1970s it was in this way. It was media driven. I need a vacuum cleaner. You see the ad 1980s in 2000. It is in this way. In 2010, it is e-commerce driven. In 2020, see this. It is automation driven. Your house is a mess. Okay, so direct online sales, hypermarket, affiliate marketing, market sales, subscription, e-commerce, ownership in this format. So we'll go again. In 1970s, it was door-to-door salesperson comes to us. In 1980s, it was media driven using ads. In 1990s, it was the, the media driven using internet. In it was in 2010s, it was e-commerce driven. So where that happened? Look here, salesperson left. Okay, it was computer. See the process has been reduced. Here only salesperson. Here what happened? You see ad. There is no salesperson. Here you there is no salesperson again computer. There is no salesperson again. You go to e-commerce. Here, there is no salesperson. There is no computer. Nothing. Everything is automation tool. Everything is automation tool. So, sensor-based passive buying expected to make up 15% of all purchases in 2020. I'll give you an example. So, there is a refrigerator from Samsung, which has a sensor inside. Okay. You have an entry of egg egg shell. That egg shelf uh, is being completed, is going to be completed uh, by within one day. So this sensor will tell the other guy. This sensor will tell the other guy in the shop. He will send an information, a warning signal that my entree in my fridge is going to be completed within one day. Please refill it. This message will be sent to the customer. He will pay the amount. The sales agent will come, and uh, so the drones will come and deliver the eggs. That the, the eggs can be put up by the customer in the fridge. So this is called a sensor-based passive buying expected to make 15% of all purchases. After Corona, I can tell you it is six, not 15%. 50% will be done on this way. Because Corona has accelerated the digital transformation process by, you can say, 50 percent. What you were expecting to see in 2030, you can see within 2022. This is the uh, repertoire of or plethora of opportunity which has come in front of uh, 
you can say in the in front of the companies who do this on demand prime service in 2020 customers will manage 85% of their relationship without a business with a business without talking to human being see that is sales automation how you do sales automation go to this sales automation tools look here full automation you can do so what are things you can do here This is one of the platform. I will tell you what of things you can do. You can record and know the number. I'll give you an easy one. Salesforce. Better visibility, higher sales per retailer, usability, action insights, optimized inventory, beat planning. So you can create, track, and manage plans. You can automate supply chain forecasting, planning, and production. You can have intelligent analytics for maximum accuracy. You can have real-time product availability insight. You can have portfolio sales using promotion. Everything can be done. Everyone has a plan till they get punched in the face. So how to set up your digital game? I'm going to wind up after this from Web 1.0, 2.0, so digital sales 1.0, how it was, LinkedIn profile, digital sales presentation, we transfer, Dropbox sharing, CRO. Now using social networks, you can do it. So and you should have certain TPTs, so that is finding something good without looking for it. Should have that uh, category. So digital sales, you should be a thought leader. The same book which I told you before, the war for digital and the game is on. So everything will be inbound. You don't have to find out a customer. You don't have to find a customer as such. Every customer will come to you because you are going to bombard your information using digital. manufacturing with digital automation tools thereby the digital automation tools inbound every customer will inquire about your product when they inquire your about your product you should be ready to have that customer support paradigm in there so you expert you should be an expertise or you should be an expert in content and sales and conversational sales so content sales is your expertise for example if i want to come to malawi i when i am going to ask you about some product you should explain about the content okay while you are explaining about that content you should have a conversation with me that is emotional plus intelligent intelligent content intelligent sales will be content sales and conversational sales will be personality sales so digital sales 2.0 you should have uh, social media you should add uh, personal value so consultative selling the sales person learn about customer needs before talking so you will have the solution so you will have uh, solution and you will have the service and you will have the setup so you will have the solution you will have the service you will have the setup this is digital sales see this example liver geometric metrics so because everything is data driven look here from uh, sales per lead how much sales has been done what is the percentage how much change has been done 
these things every week we can every salesman we can find them so awareness concentration in this one funnel you build really using your social network become a true thought leader and become a pro consultant for your products and services so people people who don't spend 5 hours a week online learning will make themselves obsolete so you should have a long, lifelong learning process in this so thank you students uh, for the opportunity which is bestowed upon me i will be expecting some valuable questions from you people raj raj sir hello uh, thank you. thank you sir I received the one uh, questions from uh, one of the participants uh, what are the digital transformation channels and as a social worker how are they relevant to no no i am not able to that question uh, once again can you can you tell me that one question once again uh, actually the one of the participants going to the social worker so mm -hmm. how is relevant to the digital transformation channels to them you see digital transformation has a big uh, there are three types of entrepreneurs as we discussed yesterday one is called a entrepreneur in social sector one will be an entrepreneur in a business scale and one will be an entrepreneur in a government scale so social sector digital transformation has a big way i'll tell you what to do like uh, a person from africa from uh, the community if he's into social sector first of all he should have a linkedin profile neat and clean explaining what all things he are doing what all services he can do and what all are the sectors which he accustomed to and after that he should have email marketing uh, tools such as uh, mailchimp this software he can use thank you for the answer sir uh, i so hope this, uh... yeah this thing he can use yeah, this uh, software sorry this thing so first of all he should have a social credential so that in a, in, in a, for this uh, social uh, entrepreneur he should have a neat linkedin profile neat twitter profile and he should use an email automation email marketing tool such as mailchimp so that he can send his information to the credible leads where they can have a channel partner with hello raj mohan yes yes sir yes sir yeah any other questions any other questions participants Mr. Ladeep sir, uh, I hope uh, everyone has understood your concept very well. Okay. Uh, after uh, we face the Rajman, technical sir, issue, how was the class? How was the class? Yes, yes sir, yes sir. It's really, really wonderful your presentations. Uh, yesterday we faced uh, some of the technical issues uh, in our uh, resource person area. Now uh, hopefully we received all the also today. and you are given the valuable information about uh, um, digital transformation and yesterday topics also it really wonderful i uh, on behalf of dms and john the baptist university and dms and uh, eugen university i really thank you sir for your wonderful presentation and thank you, thank you thank participants you. Thank, you the, uh, thank you for the wonderful yeah. opportunity which has bestowed upon me bestowed upon me i am very grateful and kindful that you have given me a chance for a wonderful set of audience and i apologize for the problems which has been faced yesterday it was due to some technical issues which faced at my end it was not at all a problem a very good morning to gentlemen and gentlewomen of uh, saint baptist and eugene university in uh, beautiful countries of malawi and zambia and i hope that uh, we can have uh, we can have future sessions also in the future Um, uh, and i hope that we can meet also in person after the corona pandemic has been over thank you sir thank you and uh, god bless you and all the best for the for your careers of uh, students and people uh, may god enlighten everyone 
to the highest attained position and uh, i should uh, end my note saying that you people are uh, very vibrant uh, very energetic uh, very young very dynamic and you people have uh, very much uh, positive uh, unexplored areas in your uh, in your city which you can use uh, to your bestowed opportunity i as a very small person have only shed some lights to some very small areas where i can talk in this small time but in future i hope that uh, we can also uh, have a good uh, relationship and uh, for the students who are there i can tell them that i will be free to chat any concern of them using linkedin and i will appreciate mr raj mohan also to have a chat uh, to have a connection with me in linkedin so that we can have future reporter and agree and uh, tutor a future uh, what you can say future uh, learning programs where we can cooperate and participate and uh, may god bless you all uh, very happy good morning to you and uh, thank you for uh, the service thank you for the opportunity we have given today thank you thank you sir thank you thank you so much thank you, uh, thank you participants uh, we can see the time uh, tomorrow uh, bye bye thank you thank you